In Maths Pathway, students take a test every two weeks. During that test period, the students uh, enter the room as usual. They will collect the test paper from their teacher. And that paper is the written component of the test for that fortnight. The students here are in a good routine uh, for the test cycle, so they know exactly what to do. There's no need for barriers or anything like that because the students all have individual tests. Um, no copying comes into it. Students just work on their own tests depending on how many modules they've completed during the two weeks. In the, uh, the written component of the test, students answer everything on the paper. They show all their working. And once they have finished those questions, they take them to the teacher and the teacher will then mark the questions for them. Uh, the teacher also has to enter on the Maths Pathway platform uh, whether the student got that question right or wrong and uh, so that maps out with their results for the cycle. They also need to use the code that is on the uh, written component of the uh, paper and that code is then entered into the online test uh, so the two parts of the test match up within the math, math, Maths Pathway system. As you can see here, the students are just working uh, on their written component. Some have moved to the online component and the teacher is marking the papers uh, in the background. As students finish, they, as I mentioned, they go out uh, to the teacher with their paper or the teacher, as he marks the paper, calls them out to collect their paper and then they return to their seat. During this time, students will be still working possibly on the online component of their test and then we'll eventually move to working on a reflection. The reflection is where students get the opportunity to uh, review the questions they got incorrect uh, in the written component and then make amends for those uh, a little later on. So as you can see here, students are still uh, working on both online and written components. And depending on how many questions the students have, this will vary from student to student. In the Maths Pathway uh, fortnightly cycle, we have some students who have completed up to 30 modules. The minimum is six, and that's a very individualised approach. Here you can see a student working on their reflection. In the reflection, the students, again, as I mentioned, get to review the questions they uh, have got right and wrong and get a chance to uh, answer those correctly. From there, it's a chance uh, to then move into your next cycle, Maths Pathway also gives them an indication of how much growth they've made over those two weeks, which is very important. The Maths Pathway platform uh, automatically allows three modules uh, access straight away uh, so they can get on with their work once they have finished the test, even if others are still going on, uh, on their tests. So this individualised platform is uh, perfect for students to move at their own pace.